हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस टेक सुशील साइट एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पाइस पार्क इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन मोर रियल टाइम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो हियर वी आर हैविंग वन ऑफ द इनपुट टेबल दैट इज हैविंग टू कॉलम्स एज नेम एंड फोन नंबर एंड इन द फोन नंबर यू कैन सी वी आर हैविंग स्टडी कोड्स एंड देन वी हैव एक्चुअल फोन नंबर सो इन द आउटपुट वॉट इज द एक्सपेक्टेशन Our expectation we should be having three columns instead of two columns. So first column will be name as we have inside the input, so that will be the same there. And then based on this minus symbol, we'll be going to split this string on this phone number with the STD code and then phone number. So how we can achieve it inside the PySpark? Let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical. so here i have already created this data frame so let me try to execute this again so it will be going to create this data frame and it is having total two columns as we have seen in the input as name and phone number next what we are required to do i am going to add a new column on this data frame so df dot as we have seen in the earlier videos for adding a new column we should be going to use with column so by using this we can add a new column then the first parameter it is asking what will be the name of that column so the name of that column will be std code then second parameter it is asking the expression or the value that we want to apply so what we want to apply so first as we can see intelligence is saying we are going to get the first three characters from the left side but as of now we can see it is having only three characters but maybe in our actual data that could be four characters or five characters so we cannot simply split based on three characters we should be going to split this by using minus symbol then we can simply use the split function so split function we can use and split function again will be asking two parameters the first parameter will be your column name so we want to use the column name as df dot phone and then on which basis we want to split so we want to split on the basis of this minus and then we can close the bracket so here we have split our string into two parts the first part and the second part so which part we want to use or get in this so for that we can use the get item so what get item will do get item will be indicating like which part we want to get so by using this zero we can simply get the first part which is std split is indicating some error this is because we have not imported this function so that's why we are getting this error so here we can simply import this function by using the from pyspark dot sql dot functions then we can go with import of this split function now this error should be gone as we can see now let me try to put this into another data frame that will be df1 and let me use the display of this df1 so it will be going to add a new column there that is the std code and that should be having the first three characters from this string let me execute and we'll see the output of this so in the output we can see we are getting the same thing if we want to add a new column then we can simply use dot with column here and then inside that we can do the same thing that we have done in the first column so let me try to copy this whole code from here and put inside this with column instead of this std code this time this should be phone number and here instead of getting the first value we should be getting the second part so we can go with item 1 let me execute and we will see it should be having two columns now so the first column will be having three characters and second column will be having how many characters that we have after this minus symbol so by using this split function first we can split the string and then by using this get item we'll be going to get either we want to get the first value or the second value so i hope guys you have understood how we can 
split this string into two parts so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos i'll provide the code of this in the description of this video so you can copy from there for your practice purpose thank you so much see you in the next video